Darktable has many modules, which may be confusing when you're editing your masterpiece. But did you know you can simplify Darktable's interface and remove the modules you don't use? The way Darktable displays its list of modules is not set in stone. In fact, if you click on the hamburger menu, you can see a bunch of presets. For example, if you want to work with the Scene Referred workflow, you can select Workflow Scene Referred. Or, if you want to torture yourself, select Modules All. However, even if you do so, there still may be modules you don't want to use. To customize the list of modules, click on Manage Presets. To make a custom preset, first click on the Duplicate button and give your preset a new name and click Rename. Now you'll be given the option to add or remove modules from each of the sections. To remove a module from a section, click on the X button beside its name. I'll remove Negadoctor from the base group. Who shoots with film anyway, hipsters? Go ahead and remove any modules you don't want or use. You can also add a module to any group by clicking on the plus icon under the group name. For example, I'm actually secretly a hipster, so I shoot film when no one's looking. Thus, I'll add Negadoctor back to the base group. You can add any module to any group, even if the original module was originally in a different group. If you don't like the name of the group, you can change it. I'll change the base group to basic. And if you want to create a new group, click on the plus icon next to the words module groups. Now I can name my new group. I'll call it favorites. You can change the icon of your group as well by clicking on the old icon and selecting a new one. Now, just start adding modules to your new group. If you don't like any existing groups, you can delete them by pressing the X besides the group name. I'll delete the color group. I only shoot in black and white anyway. Once you have your modules the way you like them, you can reorder the groups by clicking on the right and left arrows next to the group names. I'll put the favorite group at the start. Now for my favorite change of all. See this quick access panel? I hate it. Uncheck Show Quick Access Panel to get rid of it forever. Once you are done creating your new module list, you can just close the dialog box and select your new preset from the hamburger menu. That's it. I highly recommend creating your own preset of displayed modules so you don't have to scroll through the ones that you don't use. I hope you enjoyed this video and happy editing.